All right, guys, in today's video, we're just going to go over how to access the shared memory on Windows. This is Windows 10 right here. What else are we looking at? Well, this is a CPU crypto mining rig running Windows 10, running uh, NiceHash Miner. Upper, up here is the uh, AMD Ryzen Master, which you can do to overclock and set your uh, CPU. This is the output here of XM rig doing CPU mining. Anyway, to access shared memory, sometimes if you're doing mining or other things for gaming and that, uh, especially GPU mining, you need to up the virtual memory for the size of memory your GPU has, right? So you have a, um, oh God, I'm trying to remember, a 3080 Ti was 16, right? So you had to just increase your um, uh, shared memory size by how many GPUs you had on your rig. So you had two GPUs, you need to up it, you know, 16 times two. Boom. Otherwise, it wouldn't really work right or recognize it. So that was a trick. I don't know how you would know that. I can't remember how I knew it. But anyway, here's what I do. Let's just get right to it. This isn't rocket science, but it is hard to find some of this crap on Windows. So we are on Windows. I go down here to the little search bar. See that? I'm clicking right there and I just type control. I want to go to the control panel. Boom. It highlights it. Hit return, big daddies. Now it's already... Um, hot right here cursor is already selected in the text box you don't have to click i'm just going to type performance now that the control panel is open performance and over here you see system adjust the appearance and performance of windows that is what you want adjust the appearance and performance of windows it's stupid they combine them i don't know so click on it all right you got this thing this pops up I have mine set to adjust for best performance. Your mileage may vary on that. What I do, you go over here under performance options, click on the advanced tab, click, blammo. All right, as you go down, you see virtual memory. This is what I'm talking about, the virtual shared memory, right? A paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. Total paging file size for all drives Boom, 32 gigabyte. All right, change. you can click change. I've just been playing around. So you can actually click this box, autom automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Just let it do it. Or you can unclick it if you don't want that option. And now you got these options. This is my main drive. It's a Windows USB. That's how I made it. So it says system manage. Uh, you can go and say, let the uh, system manage the size for you. That's fine. You can let it do that. Or if you know, like I said, if you have uh, GPUs and stuff and you know the size you want, like here's 80 gigabytes total space available on the drive for me to add virtual memory, shared memory, right? Uh, that's what that is. So I can put in whatever I need if I need to up that. But I don't do that. Only if I was on my GPU rigs, I would put in the space here just so there was enough allocated for the mining operation to work but this is where you get to you can do a custom size you know from initial to maximum usually for the gpu stuff i just made them both the same the initial and the maximum but for this instance you can do um, no paging file if you don't want to do that system manage size let the system manage it handle it so here's the recommended on my machine Minimum allowed, 16 megabyte. Recommended, 2934. And then the current allocated is a lot more, 32 gigs, right? So if I, I just went up here and I, I pick um, automatically manage paging file for all drives, I'll just let it do its thing since I'm only doing CPU mining. I played around with the other options with the custom size. The system manage size, I've actually set those, rebooted, did all this stuff, and it had no real impact. And I just went to the automatically manage pi, uh, paging file size for all drives, and it's, it works all the same. So again, here's how you do it. Here's how you get to the virtual memory on Windows 10. Uh, make sure you know what you're doing. If you do set it incorrectly, uh, it's not going to like you, but it, it should barf and tell you otherwise, don't do that, or not enough size, blah, blah, blah. 
and that is it just okay it I don't need to save it but you would go okay or apply and you can also go into here and you can do processor scheduling choose how to allocate processor resources adjust for best performance of programs yeah you can go tweak this stuff find your best performance and go from there uh, I'm not gonna restart my computer sorry let's just cancel I don't want to do that see it's gonna ask you because I did this option Oh, let's go back. Oh, I'm stuck in I'm stuck in limbo. Oh, I don't want to reboot. Cancel. I'm not going to reboot. That's because I made it let the system decide what to do. And there you go. That is all there is to it. Five minute video. Way too long for this. It should have been 30 seconds. I apologize. So there you go. Windows is amazing sometimes, but it's very hard, very difficult to find. Yeah, some of these settings. All right, go forth through great things. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys what you guys think. If you have any tips or tricks for Windows, just how to get by, because uh, it's a it's a it's mostly a mess sometimes. But finding little things like that took me a while, and I figured I'm just making a freaking video just so I have it on record if I need to look it up again. How to get into the uh, the virtual memory stuff? All right, I'm out, guys. Bye. Boom.